One person is dead after an explosive fire in North Spokane County. The fire happened around 930 last night just east of Aloika Lake in Elk. KXNY Force Katie Curry is working for you this evening. And Katie, the fire department says by the time they got there, some flames were already as tall as the trees. Erin, it took firefighters about 10 minutes to get to the house after the initial calls came in. And in that time, the fire had already collapsed the home and the nearby shed. Orange flames filled the air in this rural elk neighborhood Saturday night. Initially, many neighbors thought it was nothing more than late night target practice. There was a lot of ammunition in the house, and so there was a lot of explosions that sounded like shooting, pop, pop, pop. And so um, they heard that and thought, who's shooting at this hour? And then they looked outside and saw the flames. Firefighters say they received calls from neighbors nearby and as far away as across the lake. The tall flames led many to believe it was a brush fire. After the fire department arrived on scene, they found the collapsed home and shed. The fire had been burning for some time. This was the view even after crews had been working on the scene for 10 minutes. Firefighters' biggest task became preventing the fire from spreading. We were defensive from the start and um, really wanted to make sure it didn't spread into the wildland too. Luckily, it's so green right now, it hadn't started moving from the buildings. Unfortunately, one man died in the blaze. Investigators haven't released a cause of death or his name at this time. Sunday morning, as investigators went through the rubble, all that could be seen from the road was charred trees and a pile of metal. One other person who lived in the home but had left to go to the store. The fire department did say that usually Memorial Weekend is busy one for them, but except for this fire, it has been relatively slow. Reporting in studio tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News. All right.